안녕하세요 에리스 키친 친구분들 Today I will make a simple version of one of the most popular Korean street food 김말이 using ingredients such as rice paper and dried laver First, we need the cellophane noodles which are called 당면 in Korean Cook the noodles in boiling water for about 7 minutes on high. And in this step, I suggest that you start to boil another part of water to use for rice paper later. Julienne the garlic chives, buchu, and carrot, tangen. We need two sheets of dried kimbap labor, kimbap kim. Divide each sheet into four pieces to get a total eight pieces. You can just rip it or use a knife. By now, the noodles will be done cooking. So, drain out the water and cut the noodles with a scissors, kawi, several times. When the noodles are still hot, season them with the sugar, sultang, the sesame oil, chamgirim, and the soy sauce, ganjang. Now put the veggies in the noodles and mix everything together. We need 8 sheets of these rice papers that you are using for making Vietnamese spring rolls. So pour hot water into a wide bottomed pie dish and dip the rice paper in the water for 2 to 3 seconds. Please be careful not to let it in the water too long or the rice will become too soft. Place the wet rice paper on a flat surface and put one piece of the dried labor on the top side of the rice paper. Put enough noodle mixture on the dried labor to cover about two thirds of the space. Then start to roll up the dried labor with the rice paper. When you get it rolled up halfway, fold the extra wrappers on the left and right side inwards. Then finish rolling it up. Use the same process for the rest of the pieces. Preheat a pan with a generous amount of cooking oil, 식용유, and then put the pieces in it. Fry them for about 8 to 10 minutes on medium high and every now and then roll the pieces so that they will become golden brown all the way around. Enjoy this kimari with some soy dipping sauce or tteokbokki sauce. You can check my soy dipping sauce recipe in the description box below this video. Please try this delicious kimari recipe someday and if you do, take some pictures and share them with me on Instagram or Facebook because I love to see your food pictures. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.